preseason can't be fun. Here, let's take this one here, for example. We heard that Michael Vick was going to be playing in tonight's game against the Jaguars. Well, he was in Newport News, Virginia today for a bankruptcy court, uh, bankruptcy hearing. Excuse me. The $20 million got approved. Then he got on a plane to Philadelphia, made it there at 3.42 p.m. at Lincoln Financial Field. Came out tonight at a solid debut. Four for four, 19 yards. Hey, completed his passes. Pretty good for a guy who hasn't played for two years. Don McNabb came in and just shined. 21 for 36, 244 yards, and a touchdown and an interception. Philadelphia will win this one in a last minute field goal. 33-232 and make Jacksonville go to 0 for 3 for the season. St. Louis, Cincinnati. Now, here's an interesting story. Who remembers Juan Cosby? We thought this wide receiver from Texas was going to be drafted in the 6th, the 7th round. It just didn't happen. So he came on as an undrafted wide receiver for the Cincinnati Bengals. And he produced 49-yard puck return touchdown. Got the first score of the game and got, probably got a roster spot. While Jordan Palmer came in for his brother who is uh, injured right now, he went 5 for 6, 102 yards and one touchdown, trying to show that he can be the backup to his brother after a 54-yard bomber out to sea touchdown to Chris Henry. Unfortunately, St. Louis will win this one 24 to 21 after a 14 for 20 uh, for 96 yards touchdown performance by quarterback Kyle Bowler. And Miami Tampa Bay televised a nationally televised game. And unfortunately, uh, Thunder and Lightning, you know, delayed this for a little bit. But when they got back in, Miami dominated with that defense. But also, after Chad Payton got a little calm after this, went 9 for 16, 128 yards, and a touchdown, including a two-yard touchdown to Fasano. Now, picture this. Penny Tin had five Buccaneers coming at him. And just when he was about to get clobbered, he chucks the ball to a wide open Anthony Fasano to the left side of the end zone, puts this game out of reach, final score, 10 to 6. Now, Tampa Bay quarterbacks, not good. 188 yards combined. Left foot's only had 100 yards, 9 for 17. Josh Freeman showing that he is a project, not ready to start quite yet. 6 for 15, 50 yards. And Luke McCown, 5 for 11, 38 yards. You know, if you're a Tampa Bay fan, you got to be thinking, man, this quarterback situation is dicey, and I don't see much produce production coming out of this team coming into the early weeks of the NFL season.